Hello Virgos, and I'm here with a general reading for the sign of Virgo. So if you have Virgo strongly in your chart, this reading could resonate with you. Um, but that said, it won't fit for everyone because we're all living different experiences, moving at different speeds, and we are among different cultures and ethnicities around the world. So um, please be discerning as you enter into this reading um, to make sure that it is for you or not. Um, as we grow in our empowerment, we can become um, more clear in um, what resonates with us and what doesn't resonate with us. All right, let's go ahead and um, look for Virgo. First of all, my beautiful friends, please, um, I welcome you into this space. I welcome you in, and I'm so happy that you're here, um, just as you are, beautiful friends. What is the current energy for this group of Virgos? What is the current energy for this group of Virgos? What is the current energy for this group of Virgo states? What is the current energy? What is the current energy for this group of Virgos? What is the current energy, please? What is the current energy? What is the next incoming? What is the next incoming um, wave of energy? What will Virgo be stepping into in the next immediate future? What will Virgo be stepping into in the next immediate future, please? What will Virgo be stepping into in the next immediate future? Virgo be stepping into the next immediate future. in the next immediate future. On to, oh great, on to the stool. Perfect. What will Virgo be stepping into? Next immediate future. Alright. Guidance for Virgo, please. Guidance for Virgo, please. Guidance for Virgo, please. All right, let's get started. The reading actually begins around three minutes and 13 seconds. All right, let me get myself comfortable here because as I even, as you even noticed in the introduction, I felt like there is some sort of a, there's a kind of a stop and go kind of energy here, which is um, interesting. So I know I need to kind of ground myself and get prepared for this reading. So let's see what, is here for the sign of Virgo. Knight of Cups, beautiful. Seven of Swords. Page of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. I mean, again, I feel this go and stop a little bit. I mean, it's kind of a halting energy, stop and go kind of energy. All right, let me get, ooh, and they're not straight. Just one moment. Well, there's a situation here that you've made some changes to. It's a love situation. Um, now, a Knight of Cups energy is an energy of love. And we understand that the energy of love is not, all, not always romantic love. It can be any kind of love. Love is a big word. It encompasses uh, many different types of experiences that we have here in our human, in our human life. 
and I see that you are currently revising something or moving away from something um, that is connected to this love. So it could be love for work, love for a people, love for a tribe, love for the earth, love for another human, love for an intimate partner, love for a parent. But whatever this love is revolving around, it is definitely changing something about it because there's something about it that wasn't healthy. I'm being pulled into this seven of swords energy. Something about it wasn't going right. It wasn't good for you. It wasn't healthy. It needed to be revised. It needed to be moved. It needed Something needed to be moved forward here with the wheel. Something needed to have been done. Ace of Pentacles. I mean, you had to move away from, this group of people had to move away from a certain kind of perspective on love. They had to move away from a certain kind of perspective on love in order to start a new life. I mean, ultimately that's what's happening. Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups, tell us more about this Knight of Cups. Tell us more about this Knight of Cups, Five of Wands, yeah. Tell us more about this knife. And I have a pain in my, so in my right frontal lobe, <laughs> there is like a jabbing pain. Um, and it's not because I have a medical issue. It's, it's, I, I'm an empath and I've learned how to do it in a way that I can actually be effective in, in helping others. This is not something I go around with feeling all the time. In fact, it's gone now. So there is something here that affected the way you function, the daily operations, the way you thought in a daily way, your your rewards and enjoyment of daily life. Okay, there there is some kind of blocking of that or some kind of conflict around that kind of love. There's nothing coming out. So I think I got it. Oh, there we go. Five, four of swords. <sighs> Something here with this love energy whether it was a relationship, whether it was how you felt about your work, whether it was around raising a family, giving of yourself, it, it revolved around the heart center. The Knight of Cups is, is, is the heart center energy. Um, and there was conflict here, right? There was some kind of blockage here in your experience about love, about love in general, about the health of the heart, the health of the heart and how the heart beats. So it looks like um, there was a, a healing period that you have gone through or that you're going through. I, I think many of you have already gone through this period of time, a period of quiet, a period of spiritual connection, a period of meditation and prayer. I'm really connecting into a higher power, um, connecting into your own personal um, guides, your own personal um, inner being connecting in deep within yourself. So, so it's kind of a jolting energy. This is not a smooth energy for me, even from the very beginning of this reading. And I'm almost tempted to start the reading over, but I I'm hearing no, like this is part of the story. Um, it's, it's kind of a halting energy. It's, it's hard for me to get in. So it could have taken you some time to really step into this, whatever this blockage was, this doorway that wouldn't open. Um, maybe it was a type of love experience that you just couldn't get to. You couldn't get to a healthy kind of love, a healthy kind of experience. You couldn't somehow um, bring um, a healthy experience into your reality. Um, but it looks like there has been a healing here with the Four of Swords. And now with the Seven of Swords, the, the Seven of Swords is a movement energy for me. Just like the Six of Swords is a movement energy, the Six of Swords moves forward in a peaceful way, now having peace, now seeing how your ideas can play out in your pathway. The Seven of Swords is like, okay, now I have seen what it has been that has caused destruction. Now I have seen what it has been that has been taken from me or that I have allowed to be taken from me. And now I am changing course. 
So while the Six of Swords is, is a is a settling in energy and a, and a peaceful moving forward, the Seven of Swords energy does talk about some sort of revision and moving forward in a different way. And we do see the Wheel of Fortune here, which is new momentum now. So there is new momentum here that you're beginning to feel, new movement that you're beginning to feel. Um, the tides have turned. The wheel is turning forward. Um, and you also have an Ace of Pentacles here coming in. So I do feel like whether you're starting to see this new reality or not, this wheel of fortune is turning towards this new reality now because we have the page of pentacles here, um, which is, sorry, I have a pressure in my right ear. So um, I need to get this energy out. See, this energy was thick that you went through. So just give me a second here. Um, there, There is a page of pentacles here, which is... Um, there, there could still be a little bit more healing here with, with this Four of Swords. This might take you, okay, uh, to, to be honest, this Four of Swords, you could be going back and forth with healing on this. And this could take you a little while um, with this Four of Swords. Just give this time. Nothing happens with a click of a heel. It truly doesn't. This type of deep soul work that you're doing in order to create a new life for yourself, it does take time. It's nothing. It can take several years. Right. And it's not that you can't experience a beautiful new journey because you absolutely can. I mean, I have proven it in my in my own life. So, yes, you can. You can have a beautiful journey. You can have beautiful relationships. You can do go on beautiful excursions in this type of a journey. Um, but you could have periods of time where you um, go back into a certain energy or you um, uncover other layers of wounding that you didn't know that you had or that you forgot that you had. Um, in my own journey, um, a long time ago, it was channeled to me about our, our cores of ourself are like a, um, a tree when the tree is cut and you can see the rings of the years of the tree were alive. And as we go through our healing and our revitalization of our soul, oftentimes in the middle life years, um, oftentimes we do this as we go into the next major level of our life experience, we really do have to kind of dig deep from each ring. Each ring goes deeper and deeper in, until we get to the birth of when we were born. And um, give yourself time. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the small things because you could be, um, now that energy in my ear is starting to fade away now. So that tells me that I, I uncovered what it was that I was meant to tell you, that it can take some time. Be patient with yourself. This kind of healing comes in spurts. It doesn't happen all in one week. It doesn't happen all in one year. It can take over a series of years, but that doesn't mean that you can't enjoy beautiful life experiences because you absolutely can. That is the beauty of life, right? That is the beauty of it. So enjoy it. Enjoy the experience. Continue to connect in. Um, the, the, the guide within yourself, when you connect in with the guide um, that you have deep within your subconscious is your own voice. It sounds like your own voice. It is a part of you. So um, as you begin to go deeper and deeper, that's why I'm, I'm feeling like you're going deeper and deeper now, Virgo, into the core of yourself. And you will, as time moves on and as you experience new health and new revitalization, you will be um, guided deeper and deeper into the healing and you will continue to uncover layers of healing. That doesn't mean that you can't enjoy life because I see that you're beginning to see here um, tangible proof of your experiences beginning to um, build and grow and expand and become so lovely is how I'm feeling about it here. And especially since we have this Ace of Pentacles, I mean, this is a new reality. This is improved finances or improved comfort. It doesn't have to be a whole new life. Like it takes a long time sometimes to, to step into a whole new life. Let's be real about healing. Let's be real about how long it takes to heal and how we can enjoy the journey. Let's be real. And let's be real about the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is new improvement where you're seeing it and you're having an epiphany about it. For example, you could have been living month to month with the end of the month having no money. And all of a sudden you realize you have a savings of $500 in the bank from last month. That could be an Ace of Pentacles. It's probably a Page of Pentacles. It's probably the Page of Pentacles. But for someone who's really struggled financially, that could be the Ace of Pentacles. Where you could have this epiphany like, oh my goodness, I am not starting the month at zero. 
I'm starting the month at 500. You know, it's that, it's, it's that kind of an experience that, that you're having here, but look where you're headed with the 10 of Pentacles. This is a beautiful journey. And this group of you are on this journey. And so sometime in the next several weeks, you're going to have some kind of epiphany about an improvement for you. You're going to realize and you're going to see, and many of you, this is a current energy. So many of you are already seeing this, but some are not quite here yet. Okay. Some are not, remember, we're all moving at different speeds. I can bring the story to you. That's half the job. The other half is for you to take the information, see if it applies to you and fit it where it applies. That's your job. I am so happy to do this and I'm happy that you're here. So we have new momentum and really this is a beautiful victory. I like these kinds of victories um, just as well because to me they're real, they're honest, they're about real life and it feels so true. You know, it feels so true. There's new momentum here and you're currently realizing with an, sort of an epiphany or you're seeing some um, tangible improvement in your finances or in your comfort or in a sanctuary space that you have created for yourself. Because many of us, when we've gone through trauma like this with the five of wands and the knight of cups, um, we have lost our own sanctuary spaces. We, we don't have our own private space where we can go and we can um, um, find healing and, and have a, a safe and insecure space to be in. So um, there is some kind of improvement here we, we see with the Page of Pentacles. Something here, it might not be huge, but the wheel is turning in that direction. But there is something that you can track that you have some victories here and you know where you're headed with the Ten of Pentacles. You absolutely know. You can reach out and you can touch it with your fingertips. And that's how we make our way to the to our to our destination. The Ten of Pentacles doesn't have to be the ultimate riches. It is a feeling of complete safety. It is a feeling of financial balance. It is a feeling of financial freedom. And financial freedom can mean different things for each and every one of us. For someone who's quite wealthy, financial freedom is different than someone who's living an impoverished life. Somebody who has been living an impoverished life will feel financial freedom with $1,000 while well, someone who is living a wealthy life will not notice $1,000. So it is different for each and every one of us. But what I'm saying here is that you are now beginning to see and to recognize these improvements in your life. And you are beginning to feel um, some sort of victory here as you move towards um, a financial, financial freedom and comfort and security in your life. Okay, let's move into, um, let's move into the next upcoming wave of energy. <laughs> okay. Why do I hesitate? Well, I just feel like, um, I don't know. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see why I hesitate. I don't hesitate. I'm just taking a pause. <laughs> I'm just taking a pause. Maybe this is how you guys feel. It is scary to move out of survival mode. Survival mode in love with the heart, survival mode with finances or whatever it is. It's scary to step out of survival mode and into a different type of living. We have the nine of wands and there's what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. Let's see what's here. So this is in the next few weeks. However, you're fitting into the time frame here. Remember, we're all moving at different speeds. Um, these are these readings are not meant to go over a long period of time. Um, although sometimes I do feel like they can be life stories for people. So it's it's really how you receive them. It is a gift from spirit. These readings are, um, and it is um, um, beyond my own capability as a reader to understand how it is going to affect each and every one of you. Um, so I, I really don't like to put parameters around it because it is beyond, it's just, I just feel like it's beyond my capability to do that. 
Okay, so as we move in, into the next incoming wave, we do have you in this energy of the Nine of Wands. And that's kind of what I was talking about right as I pulled the cards out, where you're sort of defensive about whatever this energy is. You're a little bit defensive about what's happening. Because once we've been hurt and once we've gone through some type of, um, and, and this has to do with the health of the heart, right? This has to do with the health of the heart. So once we've gone through wounding um, that has impacted us in an emotional level, as we move out of that space, we can be somewhat, um, um, we can be somewhat wary. We can be wary of people. We can be wary of our own success. We have to work really hard to not um, bring, um, to, to not ruin our own success. We can sometimes, in a way, um, see, there's like a stoppage of the information here. We can stop our own success. Thank you. Sometimes we, without realizing, we can stop our own success because to step into a new level, um, it, it takes a lot of courage. And for those of us who have failed in some way, we have a lack of confidence in our own ability to be successful. And part of that will be in, in healing. So as you move into the next level, you begin, you will begin, in, begin to heal your, your own self-confidence. Um, you'll be able to heal and work with the ego in a different way. So healing is a series of steps. So just step into it, step into it, allow it to happen. Um, the nine of wands energy, when I got there, um, when I, when I went into the energy of this cup, I was given the image of a horse, somebody who's riding a horse, feels like an Arabian to me. Um, somewhat jittery, somewhat jittery. Um, and so th this horse and this rider, they just showed me the short clip of just riding down this path. And all of a sudden the horse becomes jittery, right? And I can't see anything as a rider of what the horse can be jittery about. And so sometimes when we um, go into this new space where we at, we can be jittery, we can be somewhat anxious and anything little can set us off. And sometimes it just needs to be the calming, calming of the mind, um, finding that sanctuary space again, connecting with source again. Um, maybe um, you're you're being pushed into something, so um, you might want to um, take some time to understand why you're feeling pushed. There is an intentional now focus on the health of the mind and the health of the heart um, with this group of people, because I see the magician is in the reverse um, with the two of pentacles in the upright with the justice energy in a lateral sense. That tells me that you're working now um, in the next few weeks to understand um, why you're in the nine of wands energy, why you're there. Um, and while you're trying to understand why you're in this defensive kind of energy, um, because you have the capabilities and you have the skills. The Nine of Wands is an energy of a specialist, right? It's an energy of being in, um, the best way I can describe it, and, and you might have heard me describe it like this before. You can fast forward if you've heard me. Um, but the Nine of Wands energy that I feel here is, is the person who started off as a bank teller. Let's say they're a bank employee. And they started off at the bank as a teller. Um, working with clients that come up to the window and working with their money, giving them $20 or $50 or taking a deposit. And then as the years went on, this bank teller became bank manager. And then for the bank manager, the, the, um, I don't know what, what, what banks do as far as the ranking. Um, but you made it down to the top rank and you've worked with money all of your life and it no longer appeals to you. It no longer appeals to you and, um, you're ready for a change, right? But, it's a, so it's a, it's a, one of the energies of the nines of, of wands is a specialist energy. You have lots of uh, understanding. You have lots of skills and capacities. So when it comes to relationships or when it comes to the work situation or whatever this love energy was that affected you in an emotional way, you have a lot of different life lessons that you have gone through. That is the energy here to not forget the lessons that you've learned and the capacities and the skills that you have at this point in time, because spirit, your spiritual team has given you all of the tools that you need now to step into this new ring, to step into this new arena. So I see that you're working on manifesting something else and you're going through now the daily operations of making daily decisions about daily operation. So this is making decisions. The pinnacles, remember, the pinnacles are about reality, about money, about what we do with our day, what we do with our routine, where we're going and what we're doing and how we're spending money and which purchases we're making and why we're making these purchases and what we're going to do and what are our intentions for the day. 
right? That's the two of pentacles, making those daily decisions. So you're making daily decisions while you're in this energy um, as you're moving into a new level now. Now, the new level, the new capacity that you're stepping into, it might not be a huge new level. I mean, it's not like you're having to climb up a ladder to get to the new level. It might be just a step. And sometimes, even if it's just a step, it does take um, some maneuvering of how we're feeling and what we're doing during our day um, do it, what we're doing dur during our daily routines. Um, with this, with the magician in the reverse, it, all it tells me is, um, I need to see the card. Hold on a second. I have to see it to get into the energy of it. It was hidden by this justice energy. And that's kind of interesting to me. Oh, and here is a new level. Oh my gosh. So those of you who follow me know that I read just psh, psh. sometimes if I do the upside down triangle, I'll read in clumps. But when I do this lateral, I read from card to card. And it's interesting that death is there. So um, let me get into this. This is such an interesting reading because um, the energies is are coming slightly disjointed to me today. That's okay. Let's we can we can do this. I, I, I feel like I'm pushing energy. So we could be together, the whole group of us that are resonating with this message could be, as we all focus into this message, we could be pushing some stagnant energy through is what we could be doing. You could feel like after this reading, things could get, oh, and look, there's a Knight of Swords. Thank you. All right. Things could, could move a little easier for you um, as we get toward the end here. Okay. You are just learning how to manifest is what you're doing. You're learning how to bring it in. It is a balance of all four of the elements. It's a balance of having passion, having the strength, having the, the passion within the gut, within the abdomen to push forward into something new. So there's passion, but it takes clarity. It takes understanding about the past and understanding where you are now. So it does take clarity and it does take a sort of imagining of the future. Um, it does take love for oneself, patience and compassion for you and the journey. Um, and it also does take going through each and every day and really being successful in accomplishing what needs to be accomplished um, to make each and every day a successful day. So you're working on those kind of details in whatever aspect this Knight of Cups is, whatever this Knight of Cups is for you, whether this is a love relationship that you're working through, whether this is healing of damaged um, a heart center, whether this is revitalizing something within yourself, but, but this group of people are working on something here in revitalization of the heart space in whatever way. I mean, it can, and it's, and it does have something to do with the 10 of pentacles, which is safety, comfort, financial freedom, financial abundance, and living a new life. Because we also have a focus on the, on the, um, ace of pentacles, which came out in the clarifying cards. So we realize the Ace of Pentacles didn't come out in the cards that are on the table. Only in the clarifying did the Ace of Pentacles come out. That's what it's telling me here that you're working on creating a new reality for yourself. And these awkward energies that I am in is part of manifesting. It's part of manifestation. <laughs> it's even hard for me to speak. This is the energy of manifesting and no one talks about it but it is an awkward energy. It's learning how to do it. It's giving it time. It's being patient. It's researching. It's learning how to manifest, learning how to use the imagination while also being effective on a daily basis, not being caught up in illusion, but understanding the power of the mind, the power of imagining and the, ne the necessity for um, implementing um, new steps into your daily routine while also while also accomplishing um, effectively what needs to be done on daily routine. And these energies can take some time to put into practice, to put into perfection. Um, this is part of a rebirthing, right? Because we have the death energy. So there is a vast rebirthing going on with this group of people. And I think the death energy here is, is, is the bigger story. Right. It is a bigger story. So this group of people have have been going through something over the past couple of years, over the past year, and they're in the process of rebirthing. And this is how just like a mother who is giving birth to a baby um, goes through this kind of awkward uneasiness learning process 
Um, and that's what this is. And it's part of the process. So, so just enjoy the journey. There are going to be things that happen that are beautiful. Enjoy those moments. Enjoy how far you've come. Write it down on a piece of paper. Um, what you have done in the last week that's different. What you have done in the last month that's different than you've never done before that you're doing now, that you're proud of. You don't have to show it to anyone because sometimes these things, when you when you look at it from another person's view or from a judging person's view or from somebody who is in our space who might be unhealthy that we're beginning to realize might be unhealthy. Let's not share these with anyone unless you have a close friend that is also going on the journey with you. Just keep it to yourself, but write it on a piece of paper. What did you do in the past week that you're really proud of? It doesn't have to be big. It could be something very little. It could be something very little like brushing your teeth three times a day, right? It could be something little like making your bed or whatever it is, going on a short walk, whatever it is. It's something that to you is very important that you've done. So write those things down because those are beautiful gold stars. They really, they really truly are. All right, let's look at the justice energy lateral. Well, ultimately you look at the justice energies over the top of the death energy. So what you're trying to do is bring equality into your space. You could have some kind of court case you're working on. Um, you could have some kind of situation that has not been fair. Um, of course you have. That's the journey here. This is what you're on. And why this um, justice card came in in the lateral, it talks about, <clears throat> ooh, I'm getting into the Knight of Swords now. So the justice energy talks about the journey that it takes as you traverse the top of this card. It's not something that comes in quickly sometimes. Equality is not something that is just handed over on a silver platter. It is something that is earned. It is something that is fought for. Wars that countries have with each other are not won um, over a night and a day. Sometimes wars that people have are won over um, five or ten years. I've just um, realized, and um, as I was um, reading an article, that Afghanistan has been in a war for 40 years to find equality of their people. So wars can sometimes take a long time. So please understand that finding equality for yourself is itself a journey. It is a journey that um, the strong take. It is a journey of the courageous soul to take the journey of equality. But once you find equality and once you begin to experience equality, this journey gets easier and easier. It truly does. So you are on some type of a journey here. Um, and this is just a small bit of the story of your journey into your own personal equality, into your own transfer, transformation of your life. It looks like in the next future, in the next immediate future, let's talk, let's say two weeks or three weeks time, there is going to be some kind of pushback from your family, for, from an intimate partner, from your workplace, wherever you are you know, wherever you are spending your time, there is going to be some kind of a pushback here that you're going to need to protect yourself on um, with the Knight of Swords coming in um, underneath the Seven of Wands here and, and touching this equality card. For me, over the next couple of weeks, be prepared um, for some sort of onslaught here. And it does feel like it could be surprising. It could feel like you might have got, come far. You might have really found success in what you've been doing. Um, but it looks like you're going to get some sort of surprising entrance of something that you could perhaps thought that you were done with, that it was over. Um, some so, Something is going to happen here, but, but I see the Seven of Wands. So I'm not worried about it. Seven of Wands energy is the energy of self-advocacy, self-defense, self-representation. And the Seven of Wands energy is over the top. Okay, this is important to hear. The Seven of Wands energy is over the top of the Knight of Swords, and the Justice energy is over the top. It wasn't originally, remember, it was like this, I think, but I put it over the top. I'm not worried. Let's leave it there. I think it should be there because the Seven of Wands here was over the top, too. So we have the Seven of Wands, which is self-defense, self-advocacy, self-representation over the top of the Knight of Swords. So you're going to need to, in the next couple of weeks, express yourself. You're going to need to stand up for yourself. You're going to need to somehow um, express your will, express, express what you 
want. Express where what your thoughts are. Um, somehow there is going to be a need for you to represent yourself in a very strong, effective way. So while you're going through this journey of healing and working to um, trans transform your life, you're going to go through a period of training. Is what it feels like to me. Training. So this and this is how and this is how it's been for me too. That's why I I can um, while these energies are are kind of dense today, Virgo. The energies are thick. Um, and, and I do have, you know, density around my head and in my ears right now, which tell me that the energy is thick. It is a part of revitalization. And what I've found is you go through a period of learning and you find comfort in that. You find a sense of confidence in that. And then it's almost like the universe says, okay, let's put this into practice, right? Doesn't it seem like that for you when you think about it? It The universe says, okay, let's put this into practice and they will. It almost feels like I, I've said before to my team, it's almost like you guys push a button and then you, you make me practice this. <laughs> and I feel like that's what it is kind of for you too, where you have learned something now, you have found some sort of operational victory here. Um, with the Nine of Wands and the Two of Pentacles and this justice energy that's beginning to show up for you and the Wheel of Fortune that's beginning to move with new momentum, right? And and as you find that comfort, um, be prepared now to go up to bat in, in this game that you're playing, to go up to bat with a bat and be prepared to go into action because um, it looks like in the next couple of weeks, and I don't think it's, it's, I don't, I, it's nothing to be scared of. It is absolutely nothing to be scared of, right? It's just life. Life happens. And there's going to be a need here for you to say, wait, wait, it's my turn. It's my turn. Or wait, wait, no, I didn't mean to give that to you. I didn't mean to give that to you. Or or no, no, I don't think that I'm interested in, in um, helping you with that. Or you could say, oh, you know what? You know who could do that better than me? Um, there's a team that I that I know of in, in this village who can help you with that. They're really skilled at that. So you don't have to be mean and you don't have to be um, destructive in this in this practicing when this comes in. But it, there will be a need for you to somehow say no. Say no to whatever it is. Say no to a partner who is... Um, berating you for something that's confusing you or saying no to um, a person at your work who continually um, pushes work onto you and, and in the past you've taken it. And you know even when you take the work that you shouldn't be taking it. So there is some sort of uh, a firm foundation that you're laying for yourself in your own self-defense in the next couple of weeks that I see coming in. And I don't see any problem with you in handling that. I think you're going to handle that beautifully. It is, it almost is a way, a training ground, um, so that you can fully learn this before you step in to this next level of learning that you're going to take as you work through this transformation in your life. Because don't remember, don't forget now that you have both the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles here. Okay, so don't forget that that is in your sight, that is in your lens, and you are walking towards it. Um, and this is just part of the journey. Remember, these readings are not meant for a long period of time, just for the next couple weeks, the next three weeks or so. So um, it's not like anything, you know, huge is going to happen this reading, but there is going to be something that's going to happen where you're going to need to defend yourself. And it's almost like a training. It's almost like you get to a point where you're comfortable now with this level of learning, and then all of a sudden you get a practice on on something. And and if you can think of it that way as as a practice round, um, for me, that's been helpful for me. Um, and then you can put it down on your victory sheet too, that you did this and this is what happened. And, and let's say you practiced and you weren't perfect. That's okay. That's what practice is. It's not like you can be perfect right off the bat. You can put it on your victory sheet and say, look, I stepped into this and this is what I like about what I did. And this is what I'm going to change next time. Right? So it's just beginning to manifest. This is how you manifest. Uh, no one talks about this, but this is how you actually do manifest a new reality, this kind of detailed work. So it's really exciting. I love to see this and I'm, I'm really excited for this group of people who are going through this right now. Let's go ahead and see, um, what is, what the guidance is coming out. I think we've kind of hit on the guidance, but let's see here. Where, where am I going to put this stack? Ace of Swords, Clarity, Victory, Seven of Pentacles, training, working, yeah, yeah, strength, okay. 
Yeah, I felt like I, we kind of got into the guidance before. But, you know, there is a reminder here that you're end, ending now a really painful part of your life. Like you're actually getting to that end of that. Um, and that in itself is a huge victory. To get to the Ten of Swords, um, it can still be painful at times. It can still um, really feel like you have um, wounding and you probably do have wounding. Um, but you're at the end of this period of time because you have the Ten and the One. So that tells me that you're at definitely at a new space. You really are at a new space. And now you're in a training ground where you're working, you're investing on yourself, you're training yourself, and it can take a little bit of time. Seven of Pentacles sometimes can can take a little bit of time. It's not something that happens super fast, but we do have the Ace of Swords here. So I love the Ace of Swords. That I love that the Ace of Swords is here. I love that the Seven of Pentacles is here, and I love that the Ten of Swords is here, because as as we know, sometimes it has to get really bad before it gets gets better, and you have the really bad, and then you have the gets better. Um, you have the strength energy that is underneath the Ten of Swords, so I do feel like um, this is learning how to step out of survival and into a more comfortable life, and that is a skill in itself, to step out of that um, ho the horse that's being ridden that that maybe has abuse in its in its background or or something that it's very skittery and we can be very skittery we can be very jumpy we can be very um, wary of people wary of situations and so there is a need here to um, really learn how to let that lion roar um, that's inside of us in a way that's manageable in a way that um, doesn't create destruction as we move forward because we have to learn now as we move into a better place in our lives, we have to learn how to manage that and not how to self-destruct because it is scary to step into um, new new um, comfort, new wealth, new improvement. It really is. And it's it's an odd thing. But for those of us who have who have actually changed our lives and if we're being really honest about it, it is a very scary thing um, to all of a sudden have success because we know that we have failed in the past. And it's hard to really overcome those old feelings. So there is a need here to to really um, acknowledge where you've been and how far you've come, and acknowledge the feelings of of moving from one level to a new to a new level. Ace of Swords. Acknowledge those feelings. Spend some time training in this training ground, practicing, investing in yourself. There is an end to a certain period of time, and it does take strength and courage to move into the new, into the next level. And I'm really proud of you. I mean, this is an amazing reading. And while it's been an awkward reading for me, the energy is somewhat dense. Now that I'm at the end, doesn't it feel different? The energy feels different. And I I felt that's how it could be. Um, so, so hopefully after you've done this, after you've finished listening to this reading, the energy will begin to feel a little bit different. I think we did some energy work here. Um, but I, I do feel like this, um, period of time is not going to take all that long. You're going to go through episodes of this kind of energy as you move forward into your new life. It's not that you're going to experience this kind of energy once and that you're done. You're going to go through ebbs and flows. That is just part of the part of the process of rebirth. Um, so let me see. I am going to do an extended reading here. 43 minutes. Good golly. That's okay. I am going to do, I'm going to look into this Ace of Swords, but I feel like, yeah, actually, I don't know if I want to look into that. I think we know what that is. I want to look into this Ace of Pentacles that you had here. Um, and I want to look into the Ace of the Ace of Pentacles. I'll find the Ace of Pentacles, and we can look at the Ace of Pentacles energy um, because I feel like there's something here with this Ace of Pentacles, and I want to look at this Knight of Swords that you're going to be in in the future. Dig deeper into that and see what we can find. So I'm going to find the Ace of Pentacles. I'm going to look into the new reality that you're headed towards. I'm going to look into the Ten of Pentacles and this Knight of Swords, and then I'll look at the people who are around you and what their intentions are. So that's the extended reading for Virgo. All right, Virgo, um, I wish you the very best. This is a beautiful reading. Although the energy was dense, we made it through. And for this group of you, you guys are doing the hard work. Like this is in the nitty gritty and I'm really proud of you. And it'll be fun to get into this energy. Um, one, you know, sometimes spirit gets, let, I know that sometimes spirit let, lets me get back into groups of people's energy. And um, I hope to revisit this energy as I, as I go along. I really do. So thank you all very much. I, I wish you to have a wonderful week and um, a beautiful beginning to the year 2020. Thank you, Virgo.